Hello everyone, in this video we will have all new weapons passive showcase with effects, let's jump into it. First, we have Hunter's Path with the passive name called at the end of the beast paths, the passive will get triggered after doing a charge attack. This weapon has a passive indicator, which is the bow will glow if you have the passive active. The next weapon is a bow called end of the line, the passive will get triggered after you do an elemental skill, then make any attack. This bow doesn't have passive indicator, but you can see when the passive get triggered which is a splash around the enemy. The next weapon is a new craftable weapon series, we start with the bow called King's Squire, the passive will get triggered after you do an elemental skill or elemental burst. This bow doesn't have passive indicator, but you can see when the passive get triggered which is a wind like whoosh. The next weapon we have is Sapwood Blade and Forest Regalia, both weapons have the same passive which is Forest Sanctuary that increases your elemental mastery after triggering Dendro reaction. Both weapons don't have any passive indicator in the weapon, but you can see the leaf dropped after you triggered the elemental reaction. The next weapon is Fruit of Fulfillment, the weapon has passive to gaining elemental mastery and a trade-off losing attack after triggering an elemental reaction, and this weapon passive can stack. This weapon has a passive indicator around your character to indicate how many stacks you have. The last weapon is Moonpiercer, this weapon has the same passive as the sword and the claymore which is dropping a leaf, but the difference is you increase the attack instead of elemental mastery. Okay that's all for all the new weapons and its passive. I hope this video is helpful, don't forget to like and share and I will see you again in the next time, see ya.